Hi Cancer and welcome to your Avalon Rituals monthly reading. My name is Julia. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you might have seen already uh, readings with the Lenormand online last month, uh, but I changed the format so I took them off again because I thought I want to focus on love um, because as you can see there are so many cards. I can literally have a look into every aspect of life but it would just be too much to do like uh, an hour reading um, for each sign plus the tarot that I'm doing. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to focus on uh, the love, which is always something that people are interested, uh, including me. So um, I'm going to use the Lina Moore spread now for the love reading. It's now for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Check your other signs as well and see what resonates most. These readings are super much in detail, which means it might not be as general as the tarot can be. So if you if you, you resonate with it, that's great. And if you get already a lot of information out of it that are helping you, that's really amazing. If you uh, see it now how it works and you're like, wow, I want this for myself, like on an individual level, for my own personal um, situation, then just drop me a message on Instagram or here on YouTube and I'm doing your reading as well, if you like. So... One thing you should know is that um, I'm going to use the woman in this deck as you. So no matter if you are a man or a woman, you are now represented by the woman here. And the same way is that the man in this deck is your love interest. So your love interest can be a future partner that you maybe even not know yet. It can mean an ex-partner, someone you have or had uh, romantic feelings for. And um, yeah. As I've said, uh, no matter what gender you are, you are now represented by this lady here and your law of interest is the man. So first of all, I want to have a look what is around you. So um, let me just have a little look. So you are in the house of the sun, which means... Uh, in January 2020, you seem to have a lot of energy. The sun is shining onto you. Uh, you are shining. You're going to have an energy boost. It's going to be a really yeah, great, powerful time for you. Um, also, what I do have is you are literally thinking about love and the transformation about a love. Uh, there is some nervousness um, or stress regarding this topic. Mm, but this is literally what I can see on your mind already. There's also a decision and this decision is going to be lucky and it's going to bring positive changes. Also the sun is related to the decision as well. So we have really like strong cards here and there's going to come in new stability. Um, also we have the flowers here which can indicate that you are in general a very creative person, a very beauty and harmony loving person. Uh, it can also mean that there's something unexpected coming in, a gift or a blessing and with the moon you might be very intuitive, have uh, psychic abilities but also the moon stands for success and for recognition and yeah for being seen. Um, so these are the cards that are around you. If I now have a look, what are you mirrored onto? You are mirrored on there is some stress. And I do feel like the stress is related to the love um, situation in your life. But I also do feel like there's already the key. And here is a blockage. But again, the blockage, the blockage is giving you some stress, some nervousness. But also there is the key already. So that's really interesting. Um, that you are already mirrored onto the solution for whatever issue uh, lies, uh, for whatever the issue is at the moment. There is a blockage, there is nervousness, there is a solution, you are looking onto the decision, so it seems like you already know what to do to get in the new stability and the positive changes, to bring in the harmony and the balance again. Um, if I now have a look at the card of the heart, the heart is in the house of mice which means worries and doubts and uh, a loss so it might be that a relationship for you is ending or something from this relationship needs to go in order for you to uh, regain um, yeah a healthy relationship so that's just what the um, what uh, the house in what the love is but also what we do have here that the heart the love is leading to recognition to deep feelings to being seen and to success and that's um, also success 
we have here the creativity again and beauty and, and creation and maybe an invitation. There is a blessing coming regarding this situation. There's a blessing and an unexpected inv invitation. Um, and this is leading uh, maybe of a friend. Maybe there's an, um, an invitation for a friend to see a friend. Maybe this friend is supporting and helping you in this situation. Mm, this is going to lead to the public. So... Mm, Maybe there's something in public with this friend. So maybe you are going to a party. Maybe your friend is inviting you to a party and you're both going. Um, let's have a look. How does it continue? Um, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. There are some uncertainties or things that aren't clear yet. Um, but they're going to clear soon. Three. And there's going to be a communication with probably with your law of interest. So there's going to be a lot of communication. I always feel like it's like negotiating here. I never said this before for this year, but um, now I'm getting negotiating. There is a lot, a lot of negotiating going on. And after this, uh, fear from six, even there's going to be a journey. So maybe you are going to travel or um, this could un indicate the journey of your soul. Um, it's also about your hopes and wishes. So maybe you are communicating your hopes and your wishes. And there is a bit of a tricky, uh, not of a, yeah, a complicated situation. A situation that is maybe a little bit delayed and is causing some stress here for you. Um, okay, um, 8, 19, 11, 12. But um, there is going to come in some clarity, definitely. It's all protected, it's all under a good star. Um, it's also a big sense of destiny, what is happening here. And you're gonna feel home again, you're gonna feel good again. And there is an, a commitment here. So it feels like there are some things that need to be communicated, but there is also, again, the feeling feeling at home again. And this is going to lead to a commitment. And this commitment mm, might be something that is not really known yet. Uh, so maybe um, maybe this is coming in and or maybe you will learn. You will learn through this commitment. And let's have a look. How does it continue? Yeah, and there's going to be success. So there is a key moment. We have the book here, which means knowledge uh, that you will gain but this book is still closed, so it could be a mystery, but it is directly leading to the key that is opening the book, so you have access to all the knowledge. And uh, there is a key moment also um, with this. So there is a sense of karma here. And I can also see this because this person, which is your law of interest, um, there is karma uh, involved. Um let me see. But also there is luck. So Jupiter is protecting it, which is really amazing. We also have the harmony here. So this person wants harmony again with you. Um, we have the uh, card of a good message coming in. Um, maybe this maybe this is a card of uh, both cards are of movement. So maybe this person is traveling to you. You are traveling to this person. But again, this is a karmic partner, very likely. And... Um, what is this partner thinking about? I'm going to continue the row that I just did in a second. But let's see what this partner is thinking about. Uh, movement. Uh, this partner wants movement. That there comes in movement in unclarities. Here, clarity, clarity. That like this person wants to move forward, to get clarity and wants the commitment. That's what this person is thinking about. Um, also, this karmic. So... There's a solution uh, and success in a karmic situation is leading to the sun, which again is a boost. It's a boost of uh, of energy. I know you can't see the last cards here very good, but uh, it's the sun here, and it's a boost of energy and positive energy and um, optimism, and that again is leading towards you. So, whatever it is, it feels like there is a solution. Uh, in a in a situation that is a bit complicated, there is going to be a transformation. Uh, yeah, I can see around the hard card. I can see that there is a tricky situation. It's not easy. Um, there is there is a certain amount of stability and something that is really 
holding you uh, with this person like really anchoring you but there's also the need for a transformation there's going to happen a transformation and a decision and um, what is really interesting is that your partner or your law of interest is in the destiny line which is basically the last four here which means like this is something in the near future. So I'm doing the reading now in general for January. But um, I would say usually you could do this reading every three months or six months. But since I'm just focused on one topic here, I decided to do it every month. But I might change this format again as well. Let's see how it goes. Um, so if I would do this now, let's say for a year, then this would indicate or uh, the lower four cards would indicate the last uh, the next three months. Since I'm doing this for January, I would say this is something that is the immediate future, really. Um, so we have a karmic situation with your law of interest, but um, also the harmony coming in. And there is a boost of uh, optimism and it's almost like a new start, a new dawn uh, with the card of the sun. I hope you resonated with it. If so, leave me a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel. Again, if you want your own personal reading uh, in which I can um, answer specific questions or literally look into every area of life, uh, into work, friendship, transformation, spirituality, whatever it is that you want to know. Um, I'm really happy to uh, yeah look at it and um, just drop me a message in this case. Have a lovely day now and see you soon.